In this video, we are going to learn about how to display loading percentage for your web view. This is my Sangvi, and thanks for joining me, Vlamo. In this video, in this video, we are going to learn about how to display loading percentage for your web view. For this, I am going to first create a new project, start a new Android Studio project. And I'm going to name it a loading person page. So I'm going to name this. And I don't want to change the project location. If you want to change it, click on this ellipse button and change. Then I'm going to click on next. I am not going to change the minimum SDK. I want it for phone and tablet. Next. And I'm going to create a empty activity. Next, I'm going to I'm not going to change the activity name. Click on finish. Our project is created successfully. So let me first open layout file activity underscore main dot xml, and it contains a constraint layout and a text view to display a hello world message. So I'm going to first remove this. Now in this, I want to add a progress bar, and then we are going to add a web view. Okay. So in the blog post, we are using linear layout, and inside this linear layout, we have progress bar, and we have a text view to display the percentage, and then we have a web view okay so let me modify this a little bit let me open my activity underscore main dot xml file and in this i'm going to first add a linear layout okay so width i want match parent and for the height i'm going to use wrap content and inside this or let me first arrange it a little bit let me give 100 dp and 100 dp and then i'm going to switch to design and then i'm going to add a constraint top constraint left constraint and right constraint okay let me change this to zero zero and zero no bottom content and I want to change its width to match. Oh, match constraint. And for height, I want wrap content. Okay, next thing I'm going to add our progress bar inside this linear layout. And why we are doing all this? Because on our blog post, we are using linear layout. So, our all progress bar text view and web view are going to arrange linearly but in constraint layout we need to modify our layout a little bit so in constraint layout we added a linear layout and inside this we are going to add a progress bar so let me quickly copy this progress bar code from my blog post if you want to use this if you want to use the same code you can visit this blog post this url this URL is also available in the description of this video. So let me first copy this to and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. And I'm going to change it. I need to add a plus sign here. So I'm going to correct this one. Not an issue. And I'm going to add a ID for this also. ID linear layout uh, progress container okay this is done and this is progress bar id and its width is match parent height is wrap contain we are using a white background for this progress bar and for styling we are using a horizontal styling for this progress bar now next is our text view so let me add a text view loading 
percentage okay this is done and something is wrong in linear layout oh yeah we forgot to add orientation So the orientation for linear layout is vertical, our error is gone. Now what next? Uh, I want to add a web view. So I'm going to add a web view just here. Web view and for the timing let me add a width of 100 dp for our web view also because I want to use this inside our designer so I can add constraint and for id i'm going to or uh, let me copy other properties from here so id we are using web view and that's it we are only using id so let me go and quickly add id plus sign web view and then i'm going to switch to design view this is our web view so i'm going to move it here and i'm not sure where is our pro uh, Oh, here it is our linear layout so I'm going to arrange or I'm going to add a constraint for web view uh, bottom to linear layout right to parent left and bottom and let me change the height and width for our web view okay now i think this is fine at at margin so we are ready our layout is ready our activity underscore main dot xml layout file is ready now we need to modify main activity dot java class inside this i'm going to switch back to my blog post and now we are going to I'm going to copy all this so first one is the progress bar then web view and the string url for our website plemon.com that's it and now we need to import all this so i'm using alt enter and then we need to find all this and here is the code progress 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 so let me copy this i am going to paste it and we modified the id for our text view and its text view loading percentage great now we need to set web chrome client for our web view for this we are going to copy these two lines or uh, this line and i am going to paste it here okay and we need to import this one also so let me press alt and to import and again here we are missing plus sign so let me add plus sign now inside this uh, set uh, web from client we are using on progress change method in this progress change method we are setting the progress bar progress and we are also showing the progress percentage in text view okay. now what next uh, now we need to modify some settings for our web view client so i'm going to copy this two line or first we need to define my web view client for our web view so i'm going to paste this line and now we need to create this function and this is our function and we are going to paste it just here okay and now we need to import all this so let me import this class import bitmap and yes almost everything is ready and the last thing we need to copy these three lines okay so this is about our browser settings we need to import this one also 
and for in browser setting we are just saying that unit or javascript is going to be enabled so set javascript enable true and finally the last line we are loading this default url in our web view so whenever we our activity is going to create it is going to be our web view is going to show this url https www.plemon.com now our code is almost done it's time to launch our app so i'm going to click on this triangle button yes i want to use this device click on ok and this is my virtual device okay now web page is not available what is wrong we need to add internet access we need to modify our application manifest file okay so i forgot to mention here so i'm going to add this we need to modify our uh, so let me i'm going to add it here okay so let me open my project and then we are going to open manifest and inside this i want a permission for internet access So I'm going to I won't use permission add more uh, for permission I want internet internet that's it let's try one more time to execute our app And our page is loaded successfully but we are not able to see anything or I'm not able to see the progress bar and the progress percent so what is wrong so let's resolve this and if you want to remove all these margins you can remove it because I'm not uh, I'm not it is not looking good okay so let me open it first and what I want to change, I want to first remove those margin top. I am going to use 0 dp, 0 for right, 0 for left, and 0 for bottom. Okay, and what is wrong here? If I'm going to see the height for our linear layout is 0 dp, so let me first select it and let me change it to wrap content now it's wrap content previously it's 0 db now let's launch our app one more time so finally our app is started successfully and current percentage is 10% 12 14 57 And almost done 100% now what I want to change I want to change the color for my progress bar and I also want to change the color as uh, I used in my blog post so I'm going to use the color code I mentioned in my blog post so this is all colors I'm using so I'm going to copy this color codes and I'm going to paste my color code just here okay and I also want to change what I want to change yeah I want to complete this exercise you can play with the progress bar you can also try to hide the progress bar when progress is equals to 100 okay so how to achieve this for this I'm going to open my Android studio project inside main activity and we have one function here on page started no I want to yeah on page finished I want to use this function okay and in this function we are going to hide our linear layout so in our activity main we have this ll progress container linear layout so let me first define this linear layout here 
okay we need to find it linear layout find view by id r dot id it's this okay and then on page finish i'm going to say set or uh, i'm not sure it's visibly visible and then we need to say it's view dot not visible it's collapsed uh, where it is i think it's view i need to first call this visible no i want to use gone okay i am confused between wp uh, i confused between wpf and android i am sorry for that okay so it's uh, dot set visibility and inside this we need to use this okay view dot gone and when our page is going to be start then we need to show it that's it okay and by default i want to set its visibility to gone visibility gone okay now we are ready to launch our f final time so our loading percentage color is changed and our progress bar is gone now when i'm going to again change any page so let me go and select blog see my percentage bar is appear again and once our loading is going to be completed it is going to be gone so it's 16 80 100 and then gone now what next now this video is only about the loading percentage if you want to know uh, more about how to handle upload in your web view you want to improve the performance for your web view you can check my other blog post or you can check my other videos so let me show you one example let me open something somewhere where we can upload file without login i'm not sure where we need to uh, where we are able to upload files without login uh, let's say okay so here uh, free online photo editor.com we uh, we have browse button so we are going to use the same website so let me copy this URL and we are going to modify our Android studio project I am going to change my starting URL to this and then I'm going to relaunch my app. installing APK launching activity our activity is launch it's loaded 10% and let me close this I'm not sure why it is my internet connection is I don't know why my internet connection is too slow today so 11 36 56 percent almost done and right now if i'm going to click on this browse button i'm not able to select any file right now so we are going to resolve all these issues in our other videos